Hello Fools, it's Robert Brokamp, the Senior Advisor for the Motley Fools Rule Your Retirement Service. And as part of our Ask the Fool series, we have a question from Jorge. And the question is, what are the pros and cons of tapping into a retirement account? So when it comes to retirement accounts, there's a magic age, 59 and a half. If you take out money before then, in most cases, you'll, you'll owe a 10% penalty. Afterwards, you're fine. So Jorge, let's say you're older than 59 and a half, then you can take the money out. You might have to pay taxes on it, but that's okay. Um, generally speaking, if you are in retirement, the series in which you take money out is take money out of your taxable account first, then your tax deferred, and then your Roth. Studies indicate that that will make the money last longer. Now, let's say you are not quite yet 59 and a half. Should you take money out of your retirement accounts? Well, I'll start with the pros, but of course, uh, I, I expect you'll, you'll know that you shouldn't be touching the money. The only times you really should is if you absolutely have no other source of funds other than your retirement accounts or credit cards. If you would have to put tens of thousands of dollars on a credit card, which charges 15, 20, 25% a year, then maybe it makes sense to tap your retirement accounts. You actually can avoid the 10% penalty if you use your IRAs for qualified higher education expenses. And I wouldn't recommend that. It's probably better for your student to go to a cheaper school, community college, maybe even take out loans before you compromise your own retirement. You can take out loans from 401ks and 403bs if your plan allows it. The interest rate is actually pretty low and in the interest you pay back to yourself, but it's still not a great idea. So generally speaking, you want to leave your retirement accounts alone uh, to avoid penalties and other costs. But really the big reason not to tap your retirement accounts is you miss out on the future growth, the money you could have had. So let's say you take out $5,000 from a retirement account. If it had grown 7%, you didn't just miss out on that 5%. In 10%, in 10 years, it would have been worth uh, $10,000. In 20 years, $20,000. In 30, $40,000. That's money you do not have because you took money out of your retirement accounts early. So hopefully, Jorge, you can leave that money alone, find other ways to cover your expenses. If you have any other questions about retirement planning or investing in general, visit us on fool.com. People on the show may have interest in the stocks they talk about, and The Motley Fool may have formal recommendations for or against.